Hello everyone, welcome to Play Canvas Office Hours, where we work through problems posted by the community. I'm Steam Yao, otherwise known as Yas on the forums. Today we're looking at uh, an old thread actually, um, where someone's asked about how to use the 3D text uh, geometry generator. So uh, a while back there was a feature request to be able to do effectively uh, text meshes, uh, 3D text meshes to be able to place into the scene. And Will wrote a small library that allows you to do that uh, within the editor which is just a sort of normal play canvas script type. Um, but we didn't really leave instructions on how to use it. And there's some, uh, let's say some issues around the importance of asset uh, of uh, font files that you need to be aware of. So today I thought I'd be able to go through a quick uh, tutorial, a quick, uh, show, sorry, quick tutorial on how to add the scripts to your project, what scripts you need to add and how to add the font files and get the 3D text to show. So uh, let's create a new project. Um, let's use the model view starter kit because I could do with the 3D camera and do this as the text mesh. And there we go. So uh, all the script files are currently in the uh, Play Canvas engine repo. So go to the engine repo, go to, I believe it's scripts text mesh and there are three files that we need to have uh, air cut open type which are open source libraries that we need to use to generate the actual shape of the text and read the text uh, font file and then there's a wheels uh, script type which is the text mesh so we need to download all three of these and the easy way to do that is uh, for me uh, click on each one go to raw say uh, save the file and do that for each one. So I've done that uh, prior to this. Uh, so let's do that now. Uh, so let's import them now. So we end up with uh, three JS files that we're going to import directly here. Now what we want to do is uh, add the font file. So by default, if we add a .ttf file into Play Canvas, it will automatically read that as a font source and generate the font asset, which is not what we want. We actually just want the raw binary of the font file for uh, the, I believe the open type a library to read and to get around this what we're going to do is we have to rename the font file to a dot bin yep use bin please and upload that then in here rename it back to dot ttf um, and now we can use that with our script so let's get rid of the play canvas cube because we no longer need that create a new entity create a new script uh, where's the button? Text mesh. Um, add the font file to this. Have some text. Uh, hello world. Alignment left. That's fine. Uh, let's have the depth a little bit thinner. And let's run. And uh, let's play that. See how that looks. And there we go. We have our text. So that's all. You. That's all we need to do for the basics to get the mesh, uh, to get the text mesh rendering. Um, you could do other things to this. You could change like the uh, the uh, curve steps, which is to do with how smooth the curves are in the in the text in the in the mesh and how detailed that is. You can change the material type uh, with and with the material, you can also add shaders, etc., to go, to cool effects, uh, which was done before. Um, and yeah, that is really about it. Thank you very much for watching, and we we'll see you in the next one.